We're joined today by Ashley Seymour. She is the Executive Director of Volunteer Manitoba. For our listeners who don't know what Volunteer Manitoba is, can you just tell us a little bit about it? Absolutely. So we are the Volunteer Centre for the province. Um, We support and promote volunteerism all across Manitoba. Um, We help to connect folks who are looking to volunteer with opportunities that are available to them. And then we also provide a lot of support to the nonprofit sector. Um, not only in helping with their volunteer recruitment efforts, but we do a lot of capacity building support with them as well um, by offering like professional development opportunities, resources, and just general, you know, supports to help them do the work that they need to do in the community. So we were saying before we started recording this that I felt like I was living under a rock because I didn't know about these volunteer opportunities that were available online. But what another thing that I found interesting is what you just said. Not only are you offering those opportunities, you're offering training, recruiting, so much more. Tell us a little bit more about that and why that's so important. Yeah, so we believe in supporting the nonprofit sector to be the best that they can be, to do the work that they need to do in supporting community. Um, So our professional development, our workshops are just one way that we're able to do that. Um, We really focus sort of in three key areas with our workshops. So the first being volunteer management. So, you know, recruitment, retention, supporting volunteers and what that looks like, what best practices are. Um, We also do a lot of workshops and training around board governance because that's a really important piece as well in the nonprofit sector. So, you know, general roles and responsibilities and what does it mean to be part of a a board for a nonprofit? Um, What are your financial responsibilities? Things of that nature. And then we also focus on some general capacity building. So we offer like leadership and human resource type workshops um, and just to support those to develop their their skills and their abilities to, again, you know, do the work that they need to do in supporting community. So it's broad. It's everything that you, I guess, most of us when we think volunteering, it's like, okay, I'm going to go volunteer, whatnot. Um, But this is way more. This is taking it to the next level. Why is it important to volunteer. Let's just start there. Why is it so important to volunteer and then maybe go down the road of getting involved with Volunteer Manitoba to figure all this out? Yeah, volunteerism is so very important in community um, for so many reasons. You know, we talk about like big cities like Winnipeg, the urban centers, as well as, you know, smaller communities. I myself live in a small rural community outside of Winnipeg and can see firsthand uh, the benefits that volunteers have on communities. They help to support programs and initiatives that are taking place. Um, And then we talk a lot about like the personal benefits of volunteering, depending on who you are and where you're at in your life. um, You know, we work with youth and schools a lot to um, advocate for youth to get involved in their community to develop skills, you know, maybe explore possible career opportunities. We work a lot with newcomers to Manitoba, um, you know, raising awareness of how you can get to know your community, again, making social connections, getting involved. Um, You know, we've got some connections with the older adults and the seniors across Manitoba um, who have historically sort of been one of the the populations that volunteer the most. Um, And so there's a lot of benefits there for them, you know, to reduce isolation, remain physically active um, and just that that sense of pride of being involved and giving back to community is just so, so very important. Um, and to support the nonprofits that are really doing great work in our province, especially since the pandemic, we've seen an increase in need for support services. There's a lot of food insecurity and economic challenges. And so nonprofits in our province are able to, you know, sort of support and meet some of those needs of community, um, but rely very heavily on volunteers in order to be able to do so. Speaking of the pandemic, did you notice, I know we heard a little bit about it, that there was a drop in volunteers, and if so, have we seen it? Now we're we're four years since the pandemic started. Have you seen an increase in people starting to volunteer once again? Anecdotally, we are seeing it increase once again, but it's been a slow increase. Um, and certainly, yeah, since the pandemic, you know, people value their time quite differently. Um, many folks stopped volunteering altogether or reduced it significantly during the pandemic for a variety of reasons. Um, and so we're really focusing right now 
on encouraging people to either get involved or get reinvolved in community in some way. And we've also seen sort of a shift in the type of volunteering that's happening since the pandemic. Um, you know, maybe the traditional sense of actually going out somewhere to volunteer um, might not always be the option now. There's a lot of virtual opportunities or remote volunteer opportunities. Um, so we're seeing, yeah, certainly a shift in the type of roles um, and just really encouraging people to get back out there and get back into community. And there's really no excuse not to go out and volunteer because, as we mentioned earlier, there are volunteer opportunities in like a job bank type format on your website. I didn't know this existed and I was beyond excited when I saw it because it is extremely helpful. Tell us a little bit more about that. For sure. So on our website, which is volunteermanitoba.ca, um, we do have a whole page dedicated to posting volunteer opportunities that are available all across the province. Um, and so there are literally hundreds of posts on there right now, which is probably the highest we've ever seen. Um, and there's such a variety of volunteer roles, whether you're looking to give one hour a week or, you know, two, three, four times a month um, with a group or an individual, remote, in person. Um, you're able to filter maybe the type of volunteer role that you're looking for. So, yeah, we certainly encourage people, you know, as a starting point to definitely go there and check it out. Um, see if you find something that interests you, but you can certainly reach out to our office as well if you're looking for a bit of support in navigating it or you're not even sure where to start. Um, we're happy to help sort of guide people in the right direction. What about that person that may be sitting there going, oh, you know, I kind of want to do this, but I'm nervous. What would you say to them? Um, I would say find a friend find family member. There's so many opportunities out there um, for you to go with somebody because I know it can certainly be sort of uh, nervous or a bit intimidating to explore some of these options for the first time. And then really think of something that you enjoy doing. So we talk a lot about the nonprofits doing the great work that they do, but Manitoba and Winnipeg is also known for some of the really awesome events and festivals that we can put on throughout the year. And so find something you really enjoy doing and figure out how you can get involved in supporting that. There are amazing opportunities on there, things I would have never thought of. I had fun and I only went through the first page. I didn't even make it to the second page and I'd already <laughs> seen things that I enjoyed. You did mention the website just a few minutes ago, but again, for our listeners who want to find out more, how do they go about doing that? Yeah, volunteermanitoba.ca. Um, there's plenty of resources on there for everybody. And so I encourage everybody to go check it out. I also noticed on the website that you have a recruitment fair coming coming up in April. Can you share a little bit more yes. about that with us? Yes. So this is sort of hot off the press. We just posted that the other day. So April 4th, um, we will be set up at the Viscount Gort Hotel on Portage Avenue in Winnipeg. And we're expecting about 50 different nonprofits to be there to share about their organizations and the volunteer roles that they're looking to fill. Um, you know, Volunteer Manitoba will be there, we'll be supporting them and um, chatting with folks just again about the benefits of volunteering as well and encouraging people to get involved. So April 4th at the Viscount Hotel, we will be there from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. And so we encourage people to stop by and, you know, just chat with folks that are there. Such a great opportunity. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to do this with us. Uh, thank you, Colleen. It was a pleasure. Thank you.